Welcome to Thoroughbred Action at Gulfstream Park. Brian Natto with you as we wrap up another five-day racing week here on Sunday. We've got a 10-race card for you. The third race is a really, really good maiden special weight. Three-year-old fillies routing on the turf. And we've also got $600,000 in the gross jackpot Rainbow Six upstairs to track announcer Pete Aiello for those course and the weather conditions. The weather is beautiful. Temperatures in the upper 70s. The main track is fast. The Tapita track is fast. The turf course is firm. In the first race, scratch 10, three girls. Scratch the alternates, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Racing at Goldstream. Good start from between horses for Ivory Moon, who's heading off for the early lead. The favorite, Balletic, is sent through with the fence to challenge. Up on the outside here, speed from Oolong High. From behind the speed, it's heading west, who races into fourth. Up on the outside goes uh, Mended We Stand with Fetaline widest of all. Then it's a half a length back to Calabrian Queen, who's two better than Daddy's Little Boss Lady. Then Chili Chocolate, Tap and Chew second last, and Tap its approval trails as the leader is Ivory Moon. Ivory Moon to the top of the stretch, three parts of length better than Oolong High second. From the outside, Mended We Stand is a three wide third. Baletic is a driven fourth. Calabrian Queen and Heading West are next, and they're at the top of the stretch. It's still Ivory Moon, the target, trying to work between horses. Baletic sliding through at the rail. Calabrian Queen, there's an eighth of a mile to go. Here comes Baletic on the outside of Ivory Moon, who's a tough customer. Ivory Moon just kicked again, and it's over. Ivory Moon and Joel Rosario gate to wire by three in the end. Baletic was second, third was Calabrian and Queen in 56 and 1. Set for a start. They're off. Big John blew the start, three lengths last. Gabe ridden for the early lead. Morales won't let him get far on Carabinero. And Big John's got no choice. He's got to sit last, but he's a long way behind trying to gather some momentum in case the top two go too fast. They make their way to the half-mile point with Gabe in front. But Carabinero is now forcing the issue on the outside. And these two are heads apart for the lead with half a mile to go. Castellano and Big John third with no choice but to wait and go. The opening quarter was 22 seconds flat. Around the far turn they go. One to two the price, Carabinero the boss. He's put Gabe away, at least it seems like it, and Big John yet to be heard from. They pass the 5 sixteenths. This could be over already. We'll see what Carabinero has in reserve as Gabe is struggling to keep up. Big John's trying to tighten in. That's the way the betters thought it would play, 6-3, but we haven't seen the three yet. Here he comes up the inside, Big John. Off the turn and the stretch drive, Carabinero trying to finish it up. Toward the inside, Big John is underway. He's up into second. Gabe is back to third. Final eighth of a mile. Carabinero by four. Big John is second. The start is very costly for him. And one to two is easy money on Carabinero. He wins by three in the end. Big John second and Gabe third.
Bombanera, one of the first to break. Up on the outside, I'm a sure thing, has speed. Bounced around between horses is Tar Heel Girl as they run to the finish line the first time. On the far outside, Queen Rocket has moved up to claim the lead from Tar Heel Girl, who's a bit headstrong while second. I'm a sure thing is now third. Bombanera, after the sharp break, gets away in fourth. Outside and ready she is, then it's All American Beauty. She's racing about five lengths off the speed. King Secret is down toward the inside and racing six lengths off the pace center. Then it's just the sky. Back from there, Apriati racing together with Kiki Angua as they race around the turn in 23 and 3. Queen Rocket's the target. Queen Rocket leads by three parts of length. I'm a sure thing is second. Bombanera third at the rail. Up on the outside, that's ready she is. And from between horses, Tar Heel Girl. Been a rough run for her. All-American Beauty is three wide, and King Secret is at the rail. Then it's Kiki Angua getting started three wide on the outside, ahead of Just the Sky and Doral. Then back to Not Even Then, and dropping to last is Apriati. 49-1 and one for the opening half mile as they make their way to the far turn. Queen Rocket and Edgar Perez by a length and a half. I'm a sure thing. Asked to quicken and go get the leader second toward the outside. Ready she is now third. Bombanera held up in traffic while racing in fourth and All-American Beauty. King Secret bides her time six lengths off the speed. Doral tries to play catch up ahead of both Tar Heel Girl and not even then. Out the back is uh, Kekiangwa and Apriati as they run for home. Queen Rocket still the target. Bombanera needs room. Bombanera now loose for the drive. So is King Secret, who's up the inside. King Secret and Bombanera swallowing up Queen Rocket. Now on the outside, here's Doral. Doral's finishing up with All-American Beauty. They sawed off King Secret. All-American Beauty or Doral? All-American Beauty in front. Doral was second. I'm a sure thing third. Then Bombanera. There'll be a steward's review looking at King Secret in the run down the stretch. She was sawed off. 143 and 2. Broke as one. From the inside, it's South Pacific who's guarding that rail position from Hotter Than July, who's up on her outside. Working between horses is Blame the Vets and deciding to sit last early is Holy Berries. They charge around the first turn. South Pacific with rail position and the lead over Blame the Vets in second and Hotter Than July third. Holy Berries is on hold at the back. So South Pacific wanted an easy lead, but on the outside, Morales and Blame the Vets will not allow that to happen. These two go pretty aggressively in the early stages. They carved a quarter in 24 seconds flat. They put four on Hotter Than July, who races by herself in third. And Holy Bears is last of all. The field separated by six and a half lengths in the run five furlongs from the finish. Jackie Jaime Torres trying to catch a mid-race breather on South Pacific, who's clear a length and a quarter. Blame the Vets is second, hotter than July, creeping closer third, and back to fourth is Holy Berries as they went a half mile in 47-2. and two. So quite the opposite of catching a breather. Second quarter faster than the first, and that's not good news for South Pacific fans. She's under pressure to hold the lead. Three wide, hotter than July. Blame the Vets is back for more. Holy Berries with every opportunity. She's worked on here by Perez, but gaining good ground. Five sixteenths to go. South Pacific drops anchor. Hotter than July takes the lead. Blame the Vets is fighting hard on the inside. From the far out Outside, it's Holy Berries, three with a chance after three quarters and 11 and two. Off the turn and the stretch drive, Holy Berries tries to shift gears and shift past Hotter Than July, who's a tough customer between horses. Blame the Vets is dropped back to third with a 16th to run. On the inside, Hotter Than July. From the outside, Holy Berries, Hotter Than July, digging in. Holy Berries, not by. It's Hotter Than July in front. Hotter Than July turned away Holy Berries and beat her on the square by a neck with Blame the Vets third. South Pacific softened up at last in 142 flat. They're off and running.
From the center, instinctual away quickly and sent to the lead by Gaffleon with roll on Big Joe moving to him on the outside. Down at the rail, it's silver and black and from between horses gambling holidays got into the clear. You had to angle for racing room. O'Connor Sunset went into the top flight and T.O. Tony's the one that's not keeping up early as they run down the backstretch. Roll on Big Joe and Louis Sia is back from Louisiana and in front three parts of a length. Instinctual is latched on to him second from the outside. O'Connor Sunset is now third. Silver and Black is kept close to the action while racing in fourth, then Gambling Holiday, and four back to the trailer, T.O. Tony. Quarter, legit, 23-1, and one, with the half mile to go. Roll on, Big Joe, leads by two. Instinctual is second with Gambling Holiday trying to catch up from the back. Silver and Black is at the rail, and O'Connor Sunsets in the red between horses. 45-1 and one for a half mile. Roll on, Big Joe. He's trying to do just that. He's going awfully quick, and he's making everybody else work hard behind him. Five sixteenths to go. Roll on, Big Joe. Threatens to blow this wide open. He's now a 10-length lead from O'Connor Sunset second. Instinctual is next with Silver and Black and Gambling Holiday. Three quarters and nine and four. At this point, roll on, Big Joe just racing against the clock as he's on his way home to an, an easy maiden victory. Roll on, Big Joe. He's wandering way out the center. He's probably looking for other horses because he hasn't seen any for over seven furlongs. Roll on, Big Joe, under jockey Luis Saez with a dominant effort here to start the Rainbow Six. He won by at least 10, and it could have been more. Second was Gambling Holiday. Third was O'Connor Sunset, and fourth was Silver and Black in 138-1. and one. Favorite well into was away quickly and immediately guides herself to the rail and leads by two lengths in the run to the finish line the first time. From the far outside, Mademoiselle Jackie looking to get over and she's moved within a length of the leader while they're second. Justifiable Bell is headstrong while in tight. Down at the inside goes Solo Album up and around them went AJ's memory. Haystack got shuffled back a touch on heels was literate then to the outside in two minute lick and the charge to the first turn. Up front, well into three to one and cruising early. Leads a length and a half over Mademoiselle Jackie from the 12 post to the rail and now second. AJ's memory is there third. Literate, hard to handle and races up toward the lead. Four wide and Highland Grace. Then back to Justifiable Bell together with Solo Album and Two Minute Lick. Haystack is in the green for Gath Leon behind the speed about six lengths behind. It's a length and a half to a well-settled Leipzig third last. Second last is Queen Damar and the trailer is party time. 24 and 1 for a quarter, half mile, 48 and 1. Four and a half furlongs to go, well into, yet to be headed, leads by a length and a half. 
Mademoiselle Jackie locked in toward the inside with Literate on the outside. Then it's Highland Grace, three wide and asked to quicken. Dropping back quickly was AJ's memory, moving up on the outside. Here's a run from Justifiable Bell. Solo album is at the rail, driven and dropping back. Two-minute lick. Haystack starts to warm to the task. Gaffleon guides Haystack to the clear, and the Daughter of War front is underway, trying to reach well into, who turns for home on top. Well into has been in front from the outset, leads a length and a half. Haystack down the center of the racetrack. Mademoiselle Jackie down toward the rail. Well into with one to fight off. Haystack charging to her, but well into has got plenty left, and she'll win it. Well into and Jackie Jose Ortiz gate to wire to start the late pick five. Haystack second, Mademoiselle Jackie third, then Justifiable Bell, 142 flat. They're off and running. The favorite psychedelic shack hits the ground running and leads early, taken on inside by Loyal Louie, who's on the go. Lost a legend striding over from the outside, and on the far outside, it's Golden Soda. Half a mile away with Psychedelic Shack clear and comfortable. Leads by a length and a half. Up to second, that's the Golden Soda outside of Loyal Louie, who's back to third. Fourth is Lost a Legend. Fifth at the rail is Pure Spite. Back to sixth, that's Trini Summer. Two better than Ensign Parker. Seventh, Ubiquitous is eighth. Ninth is Papico. Then comes Pico Doro and Trini Summer at the back. They're under the top of the stretch now, and up front, the leader, Psychedelic Shack, still with his hands full as Rosario on the big favorite who turns first. On the outside, and still moving his golden soda to take him on. Wide on the course, Papito starts to close ground. Splitting horses is ubiquitous. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Time to finish it up for Psychedelic Shack. Rosario shakes the reins. He gets a response, and they can't get him. Psychedelic Shack, easily. Second, Golden Soda, closer third. Maybe ubiquitous, but Loyal Louie was right alongside in 55 and four. slow to break the Duke Dr. Duke at the back meet me in Kingston will quick off the blocks and he'll lead early on from Adios Asher who's away in second Sasua Summer comes through at the inside to take over third moving to him on the outside is Kasim War Terminator is next with crack shot and Dr. Duke the early trailer no angel the favorites the target meet me in Kingston has the lead three parts of a length Adios Asher second so Sua Summer gets a rail spot to work with. He's now into a joint second. Wide on the course, Kasim. Then crack shot. Dr. Duke is next. No angels out of last. And now the trailer is War Terminator. Meet me in Kingston has the lead. He's still got some work to do, though, as Sosua Summer is getting ready to tip and roll. And he'll try to track down the favorite with an eighth of a mile to go. Meet me in Kingston has the lead by two. Sosua Summer takes aim second. Back to third. Adios Asher. Final 16th of a mile. Meet me in Kingston. He has the lead. Second, Sosua Summer. Meet me in Kingston. Goes gate to wire. Sosua Summer was second. Third was Adios Asher. Then no angel in 55 and two. We're ready for the start. They're off.
for one. in first out bluefield got a great start and looks for a clear advantage moving to him is dear ifaros who's coming on to challenge up on the outside strong silent toward the rail sweet as pie the early trailer diamond wow they head to the half mile point dry faros has now made the lead leads by length over bluefield second strong silent on the outside third then it's the gray sweet as pie who races by herself in fourth and diamond wow is last 21 and 4 for a robust opening quarter, and Bluefield is bidding up the take on Dry Faros at the three furlong point. Sweet as Pie moves up inside of Strong Silent, and Diamond Wow is last with pace ahead of her. Five sixteenths remaining. Bluefield trying to get Dry Faros. These can two to continue to spar with Sweet as Pie a run running third. Strong Silent the first to drop back. Diamond Wow improves inside her, and they're at the top of the stretch. Bluefield turns for home on top. Dryforos fights back toward the inside. Sweet as pie and Diamond Wow down the center. Diamond Wow's had a lot of pace ahead of her and tries to gather in the embattled trio. Less than an eighth to go. Dryforos is still in front. Dryforos has the lead. Not getting to her. Bluefield. Diamond Wow up into second, but Dryforos would not be denied. Diamond Wow second. Bluefield was third and fourth was Sweet as pie in 111 flat. away. In the center, the gray Cheval d'Or was away quickly, striding through at the rail totally like Mom has speed. On the far outside, here's Blast the Music moving up, taken back, and Splitting Horse is now Shaw 10 as Uncle Mark's the one who took back. Good soldier sent hard by Zayas down toward the inside. He wants that rail spot, and he's got it. Now he'll have to tap on the brakes as the rail's not quite open. Around the first turn they go, totally like Mom has the lead. Facing up in the second is Shaw 10 down at the rail. It's Good Soldier who's now third. Blast the music is fourth from Cheval d'Or in fifth. Then from between horses goes Uncle Mark, and on his outside, order of magnitude. It's a length and a half to Modus, who's ahead of Make It Bank, who's toward the back of the field, as they have the big favorite to catch, Good Soldier. Eventually got room toward the rail, now he's keyed up. He went 24 seconds for the opening quarter, and he has four and a half furlongs to run, and he's two lengths on top. Totally like Mom is second, shot in his third, blast the music, fourth, Cheval d'Or fifth. Improving on the outside, media sensation, given the green light to launch his bid, he's up into fourth now. Trying to rally from the back is order of magnitude, then back to Modus and Uncle Mark as they round the far turn. Good soldier, aggressive, he's not messing around and he's got him strung out behind him. Quarter of a mile to go, they'll have to pick up their feet if they want to beat Good Soldier. He leads by two and a half, totally like Mom, stays with him second. Media sensation, order of magnitude, Cheval d'Or and Shaw Tenor next. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Good soldier, leads by two and a half, totally like Mom, second. Media sensation, third. Final sixteenth of a mile, Good Soldier shortening up a touch, but he has a winning lead. It's Good Soldier in front. Close then for second, either totally like mom or media sensation. Close for fourth as well, either order of magnitude or shot 10 in 136. And And that's a wrap on the Sunday card. We'll take a couple days off. And when we come back with you, it's Pegasus World Cup week kicking off on Wednesday. Nine races and a 12-10 first post. And don't forget, we drew that card on Sunday. 13 races highlighted by the $3 million Pegasus World Cup turf. Get your tickets. We hope to see you out here on Wednesday, but of course Saturday as well.